Hello everybody, welcome to Chateau Kimball, otherwise known as my house. If you have um, watched my videos or read my blog in the past, you know that Chateau Kimball was my grandparents' camp up in Maine. And that sign I put up in the spring here on our back patio. And as I was siding this house, and I'm returning to the roof today because I have a plan and I want to tell you about my plan you got to have a plan you know everybody needs a plan or I should say plans plural it's good to have plans doesn't mean they're always going to work out but uh, there's a saying if you don't know where you're going any train will get you there you got to have an idea where you're going and if you don't know exactly where you're going, well, you take the next step. That's, uh, that's advice from me that uh, I've kind of applied in my life. And I want to show you my plan, or <laughs> give you a vision for my plan, I guess. I'm looking here from the edge of my roof down on the west side of my house. And what we're looking at there is... A makeshift wood shed. It's probably been there 15 years. We take the wood out of that and we load it through a window. And this side of my house is unfinished. I'll uh, go down there and I'll show you. But the plan is basically uh, everything you see there, all the way out to the end of the wood pile. Let me see if my finger will will point right here. It's about 24 foot. From the edge of my house over to here is about 24 foot wide and I'm going to put an addition on my house there next year now I'll go down on the ground now and, sh and finish this uh, thought okay we're bit we're dog sitting today two dogs my son daughter-in-law they got in the picture there and here you can see the west side of the house unfinished those of you who have uh, read my blog know that my wife and I were married in 1980. We bought this uh, little lot we live on, an acre and a half, when we lived in town in an apartment. And then we, in 1983, built our house ourselves. Um, it was only 16 foot by 24 foot and a story and a half high. And uh, we did not get a mortgage. We borrowed $10,000 from my father-in-law. And we've never had a mortgage. And we've added on to the house two times more after the original construction to make more room. And this end of the house has remained undone, where you see the tar paper is the last addition that we put on. So I want to put a 24 by 24, roughly, addition onto the house here, one story high and all this wood has to be moved. I want to do this next spring, and this has been in my mind for some time. I'll be 60 years old next year, still, God willing, old enough to work, work hard, and get this done. I have sons who, if I need it, can help me, and uh, the reason for this, the purpose for this addition, is to get us a downstairs bathroom, a downstairs bedroom, and a laundry room and maybe a little bit of living area on the first floor, which is something we do not have now. No bathroom, no living, or we have living space, but no, uh, no bedroom. So these are things that I foresee we are going to need as we grow older. Uh, we need a ground level space with a bedroom and a bathroom, uh, handicapped accessible, low to the ground, easy to get uh, from the ground into the house. Um, we're thinking ahead here. We're thinking ahead. Um, instead of uh, moving like we thought we might do, we're going to add on. And it's a big project for me to consider. I used to do this for a living, but it's been a lot of years. And it's a little bit intimidating to me because I have my mail order business, which requires a surprising amount of time. I don't just stuff things into packages and ship them. I I do, you know, small manufacturing. Uh, you know, I'm making things that I sell online. So, well, anyway, 
the point is, this is my project. This is the beginning. This is the before picture. And uh, hopefully next year at this time, I'll have an addition. Maybe it won't be sighted. Maybe it won't be finished on the inside, but we'll have the, a foundation and uh, walls and a roof on. And if you saw my episode a few uh, episodes back where I showed you the uh, formal dining room table that I got from my Aunt Carolyn up in Maine that belonged to my grandmother. The plan is, the objective is to get this addition on and have Thanksgiving dinner with uh, all my kids and their wives and and so on, the rest other family that are around. In, on, on that table in th for Thanksgiving 2018. God willing, that's the plan and you will be seeing more of this project in the months ahead starting next spring when the weather gets better. Okay, that's it.